This story will be part of a series that we will be doing all month long. Our series is gonna highlight extraordinary black people that have helped us and been inspirational to us, particularly throughout our journey as college students, entrepreneurs, and just in all around daily life. Keep watching as I break down who these extraordinary people are, what makes them so great, and how they helped me become the woman that I am today. Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, welcome, and please consider subscribing. Hi, I'm Tamara, a corporate dropout, certified project manager, and full stack web developer. I began re-engineering business systems to help support multi-million dollar processes back in 2010. Currently, I run a digital consulting firm here in Tampa, Florida that helps consultant service providers and e-commerce owners with digital project development, digital project management, and to build out custom business systems that are designed to help them destroy their business goals. To learn more about me, click the link in the description. Now let's get into what we have for you guys today. Today, I'm going to share a black story of a powerful woman that showed me how to press forward in the face of adversity, and especially when you feel like you can't move forward anymore. Today, we're going to talk about my childhood just a little. You see, my mom was a single parent, but she wasn't a single parent all my life. When I was three, I believe, my mom got married and she was a housewife. And she remained a housewife all the way up until I was almost a teenager. At that point, she left her husband of all those years and started her life over from scratch. When she left, she had to take care of two kids on her own. So she went back to school and got a degree in nursing. From there, she got her first job, and over time, we were able to finally have our first home. We even had a yard and a dog. This was amazing for us because all that time, we had always lived in apartments or places that really weren't all that great. Despite all of that adversity and all of that hardship, both of her children graduated from high school and college. From watching my mom go through all that struggle and heartache during those years and raising us by ourselves, I learned some valuable lessons from her that I use not only in my personal life, but also in my business. One of the most valuable lessons was to push through and show up, especially when you don't want to. See, in my business, all the great, amazing things that have happened as far as growth and my first have all happened at times where I did not want to show up, every single one of them. See, I'm extremely introverted. So for me to just go to an event is like, I can't even put it into words. <laughs> but it's not something that I'm jumping over the moon to do. So through watching her just go through all these things and no matter what, just showing up, that instilled that in me. So now I may not want to show up, but you will always see me there. She also taught me to see things all the way through, which is something that I've learned as a business owner is not a common trait. You see, being able to see something all the way through from start to finish is very difficult in some cases. How can you stand out with recycled templates? A professional web design that looks great on any device demands attention and gets results. If you're serious about scaling your business, then that DIY template isn't going to get you to the next level. Everyone making seven plus figures is using a custom web design based on strategic goals. Learn how to get started at AccuFigures.com. You'll be glad you did. And as a business owner, we want to quit. I mean, things get really, really rough and they get really hard to keep up with. And more specifically, consistency is a big thing with us. It is hard to remain consistent. And because, and a lot of that is because it's hard to remain motivated, especially when we've been knocked down, when we had a day with no sales or like we sold maybe one unit or maybe we just had one phone call that flaked or they didn't buy. 
I mean, those things at first it's easy to deal with, but over time it can be a bit overwhelming and overbearing. And one of the things that I learned from her is push through it, push through it. That person didn't want it, but somebody else will. I know it's hard. I know it's, it's deflating, but you have to get up and you have to persevere. She taught me to think things through and weigh out the consequences and pros and cons of my actions before I make a decision. Now, I didn't always listen. And yeah, the results of that are probably another video for a totally different channel. However, when I did listen, <laughs> things worked out pretty well. Thinking things through, considering the pros and cons, Weighing the consequences are something that should be done for every decision that is made in our business. Yes, you want to jump off and build it as you're going down. That's great advice. And I actually do that a lot. But at the same time, there has to be a time, a, a limit. There has to be a line. And as a business owner, especially as a business owner, we have to pay attention to where those lines are. Where are they drawn? At what point have we gone too far? And, at, and when have we not gone far enough? And when we just jump and we don't critically think about what we're getting into, it can lead to a lot of problems. And in the worst case scenario, we may have to close our doors. I said all that to say critical thinking is extremely important as a business owner. And she definitely helped me to be able to add that into just my life in general, in every decision that I make. She also taught me how to trust myself and my judgment. See, when I started my business, I did what most of us do. I was, I didn't have any idea what was going on. So I was out there listening to every guru who was throwing advice my way and there were plenty. But what I wasn't doing was paying attention to the quality of people that I was getting advice from. Some of these people didn't even own a business, but they have plenty of tips and tricks for me on how to run mine. Not only that, I was taking advice that wasn't tailored to my business or my business goals. So I would implement something in my business that would take me way out in the field somewhere and have me working on things that weren't even going to help me grow my business. After watching me do this for a while, she reminded me that I need to start trusting myself and my gut and my own judgment and stop following people blindly. And once I took that advice, my business was a lot better for it. These lessons alone have saved me thousands in my business over the years. And I just wanted to say that I really appreciate all the sacrifice that she made for me to be able to stand here and talk to you guys as a small business owner, certified PMP, and all those other things today. Another lesson that I learned from her was to always leave people better than you found them. And I'm going to do that for you guys today that have made it to this point in the video. First, I want to thank you for watching. And second, I want to give you guys free access to my seven day challenge to help you build your business processes. This challenge will give you the knowledge that you need to build the processes that are required to support your long term business growth goals. Click the link in the description to gain access. And, and as always, for thanks for watching. If you got value from this, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.